That's my fire breathing dragon. Put a Pratt and Whitney on it, it breathes fire. It's called Draco. It is based on a PZL Wilgo 104. It's highly modified. New wings, new engine, a bunch of other things. I actually had a, I had a Wilga 10 years ago. I really liked it, but it didn't have the performance I wanted, didn't have the power. So I got this crazy idea. You know what, let's just make what I want. Let's build new wings, let's build new tail feathers. Let's put a great big motor in it. and Then I can have a four seat extreme backcountry plane and that was, that's what I did. I go really, really fast and I get addicted to projects in aviation, so I don't sleep a lot once I start. This project was done bottom to top in, in five months, me and one helper. A Stoll aircraft is, is short takeoff and land, because really if you're going in a backcountry strip, unimproved or no strip at all, landing in the mountains, and so a Stoll aircraft is trying to find the perfect combination of engine and wing and weight to put your takeoff and landing as close to possible at the shortest distance possible. I didn't expect to have a buddy of mine show a video of my plane flying and find out that a, a million people saw it in a day. And I thought, how, how does that even happen? And then to hear all these people saying, how do I get into flying? Can you just go get a license? Yes, you can just go get a license. It's that easy. And, and to just hear all these, these kids, I, I, I can't tell you how many people came up and said, I came to Oshkosh for the first time to meet you and see what you built that I followed online. I, wow, we need to do more of this. We need, let everyone who's building a project should share their love of the build. Say, you can just go out and decide, I want to build an airplane and then fly that airplane. How great is that? It's, it's amazing. <laughs>